Good day! This is Teacher Rowan. I'll be your guide in exploring Google Apps for Education, for teaching and learning. In Google for Education, teachers can connect and collaborate easily while staying on task. It gives teachers the freedom to spend more time personalizing the learning experience and less time managing it. Students can learn essential skills such as 21st century problem solving, which they can use it in their future careers. As such, the accessibility features will also help and assist every learner to do their best work. Google offers different useful applications that we can use to connect education to technology. This will help our teachers as a 21st century educators to innovate and find ways on how to make teaching and learning more exciting, engaging, effective, and flexible to the demands of the society. Let's re-explore the education experience by discovering new angles to create, collaborate, and communicate as one. Para sa bata, para sa bayan, at para sa guro. Ang pagkatuto, huwag gawing komplikado. Sulong edukalidad! Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pamumuno ni Undersecretary Alain Del P. Pasqua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating itulay online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para malampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito. Good afternoon, everyone. So, um, good afternoon, everyone, especially sa ating grade 6 learners na nanonood ngayon. And of course, sa ating mga parents and teachers na uh, patuloy na sumusuporta para sa ating DepEd Itoline online tutorial. And of course, um, ako pala si Tutor McCoy. And ako ngayon ang inyong tutor for today para sa English 6. And uh, nagulat siguro kayo dahil uh, wala si Ma'am Jazz. And um, of course, uh, every Tuesday sa English 6, ay si Tutor Jazz yung palagi niyong kasama. And um, um, dahil uh, may konting problema lang si Ma'am Jazz sa kanyang location at this time. So ako muna yung makakasama niyo for the uh, online tutorial for this afternoon. Okay, so... Um, please don't forget to comment kung saan school or division kayo ng galing and I will try my best po na basahin lahat ng comments po ninyo. And um, ako rin po ay, of course, makikiusap na sana po ay uh, yung cooperation ninyo during our activity sana um, andun, no at uh, patuloy na uh, mag-enjoy at sumagot sa ating different activities mamaya. And um, I would like to say thank you also sa Division of Pasig City for the uh, SLM that I will be using this afternoon. So sa development team no, ng DepEd uh, Pasig, no, sa Division of Pasig City, sa writer nila kay Ma'am Maria Luz Ramos, and of course my co-teacher sa editor, Ma'am Consolation Narciso. Hello po, Ma'am. And sa aming... Um, supervisor, English supervisor kay Sir uh, Joey Calios and of course sa um, SDS kay Ma'am Maria Evalo Concepcion Agustin. So, good afternoon po. So, 
uh, ang gagamitin po natin ay SLM from the Division of Pasig City. Okay. So, ang pag-aaralan natin for this afternoon is all about the adverb of frequency. So, uh, later mamaya sa topic natin, uh, malalaman natin kung paano gagamitin yung adverb of frequency. So, we are in the fourth quarter, week one. Okay. So, bago tayo magsimula, I would like to read the comments kung sino-sino yung mga kasama natin for this afternoon. So, hello, good afternoon kay Louie Gumabon Sanlad, kay Wilma Orgatis, Francisco Palma, good afternoon po, kay Jabril Banjola, kay Eden Gabriel, hello, watching from Lukban, Masigon, ES, Rojas, East, SDO Isabela, hello po, good afternoon, kay Harun Sagad, watching from Sultan Kudarat Division, Esperanza, Third, Sultan Singayan Integrated School. Of course, kay Maylene Chua from Quezon, Atimonan, Quezon. Good afternoon po. Kay Salvador Francis, of course, uh, hello po, good afternoon po from San Lorenzo Ruiz Elementary School. Okay, uh, good afternoon sa iyo, Francis. Siya yung isa kong estudyante no? sa grade 6. Good afternoon. Thank you for watching. Okay, Samantha Marasigan, kay Colin Scott, yes, from San Lorenzo Ruiz Elementary School, mga estudyante ko, buti at uh, kasama ninyo ako ngayong hapon. Thank you for watching sa aking mga grade 6, uh, grade six learners from Rizal, Luna, Jacinto, and Aquino. And of course, sa uh, lahat ng nanonood, maraming maraming salamat po sa uh, kay Briggs Gonzalez from Bulacan, yun. So, uh, Thank you for watching. So, uh, let's start our lesson for this afternoon. Okay. So, expectation. So, this is your self-instructional learner module in English 6. So, all the activities provided in this lesson will help you learn and understand adverb of frequency. Okay. Hello, kay Ma'am Jo. Jamil Posong. Okay, good afternoon, ma'am. Jo, uh, watching from Oton, Iloilo. Uh, my co-teacher that is the same candidate school. Hello po, ma'am. Thank you for watching. Of course, so, let's have first a pre-test. So, let me see how knowledgeable you are already when it comes to our topic today, which is all about adverb of frequency. So, uh, mag-comment lang ng inyong sagot, no? And don't forget na maglagay ng uh, number para malaman ko kung anong number yung sinasagutan nyo. Okay? Sige. So, number one. Okay. Uh, bago po yan, direction muna po na tayo. Okay. Choose the adverb of frequency in the sentence. So, uh, alam ko, alam nyo na yung adverb of time and place kasi last time na pag-aralan nyo na yun. And now, we will talk about adverb of frequency. And I know na pag-aralan nyo na to dati pa sa ibang, uh, sa, sa grade five, grade 4, grade 5, no? During your grade 5 and grade uh, 4. So, choose the adverb of frequency in the sentence. Okay. So, number one, the Department of Health frequently visited hospitals in the provinces. So, ano kaya dyan yung adverb of frequency? Wow, may nangunguna si Samantha Pedinosta, one of my learner also. Ang sabi ni Samantha, ni Gabriel Carobin, ni Ma'am Jo, ni, Waver, ni Waverin Antalan, ni Yesli Lizardo frequently. Okay, let's see if that is correct. Okay, very good. Correct. And for number two, he never declined to offer help to those in need. So what is the adverb of frequency in the sentence? So tama din kanina sa sasagot nila si, si Natalie Ngay, um, Mark Gabriel De Leon, Janet Agrabante, John Paul Struder, Yon, tama din yung mga sagot na for number one. And for number two, sabi naman ni, 
Ma'am Jo Osong, uh, Gabriel, ni Yesley Lizardo, ni John Paul Scruter, ni Grace Gamboa, ni Andrew, uh, ni Margox Santos, ni Mark Platon, never. Okay, let's see if that is correct. Okay, correct. Very good. Ang galing ng mga nanonood natin ngayong hapon. For number three, many people always read his articles in the magazines. So what is the adverb of frequency in the sentence? Okay, paki-comment na inyong sagot. Good afternoon po, watching from Tarlac City. Good afternoon po, Andre Joy Castro. Okay, for number three, sabi ni Ma'am Jo, always, ni Gabriel Carabin, always, ni Mark Gabriel De Leon, always, okay, ni Nat, ni Samantha Pay, ni Margo Santos, ni Maria Cristina Belmonte, okay, ang sagot nila, lahat ang sagot, always, okay, ni Daylan Roque, okay, let's see if that is correct. Correct, so very good, many people always read his articles in the magazine. Okay, number four, my friend buys expensive dresses occasionally. So what is the correct or what is the adverb of frequency in the sentence? Okay, for number four, let's see, sino sumagot? Si Yesley Lizardo says, occasionally, ni Samantha Fay, ni Ma'am Jo, of course, occasionally. Ni Gabriel Carabin, occasionally. Ni Daylan Roque, ni John Paul Scruder, occasionally. Okay, let's see if that is correct. Okay, very good. And for number five, he often go out for dinner. So what is the correct adverb of frequency? Okay, so good afternoon pala sa mga dati kong co-teachers dyan sa St. Candida's, uh, Candida's School, dating Ihes de Jesus, no? si, si na Ma'am Jo, si na Ma'am Mary Jean, si na Ma'am si na Bunan, si na Ma'am uh, Ko. Hello, good afternoon sa inyong lahat. I miss you all. Okay, for number five, yun, may sagot na. Okay. So, sabi ni Jennifer Andolan, often, si Kylie, si Ronali, si Daylan, si Nat, si Ira Reyes, si Lance Barrico, okay, si, si Ma'am Jo, of course, si Ma'am, ah, si Margot Santos, si Ira, often, okay. Let's see if that is correct. Okay, very good. So, did you get five? If you get five, that is amazing. So, alam na alam nyo na talaga yung lesson natin for this afternoon. Now, let us have a quick review on what you have learned previously in your class. So, let's have a recap. Okay. So, in the past lesson, we studied about the adverb of time and place. So, let's find out if you still remember all about them. Okay, so number one, okay, paki-comment lang ng inyong sagot, don't forget. Okay, for number one, wrong planted herbs, what is your answer? For number one, okay, sabi ni Mark, ani Gabriel, Kerubin today, si John Paul, today, Ni Samantha, Nerva. Okay, iba-iba yung sagot. And hello, good afternoon kay Et, uh, Erich Ashley Salvador from Tilapayong Elementary School, Grade 6, Venus. Good afternoon sa iyo and thank you for watching. Okay, and the correct answer for number one is, okay, Nerva. For number two, okay, so you will choose, you know, Sorry, nalilimutan ko yung direction. So, choose the appropriate adverb in the box to complete the sentence. So, nandun yung mga sagot sa boxes natin. So, today, nearby, abroad, next month, and later. 
Okay, for number two, what is the correct answer? Okay, may sumagot na today. Sabi ni Julie Hernandez, ni Ma'am Jo, ni Gabriel. Okay, so let's see if that is correct for number two. Okay, very good today. Correct. Sabi din ni Akisha Ariola today, ni Margaret Santos, ni Akisha Ariola, and ni Nat Salingay. Okay, congratulations. Tama ang yung sagot. Very good. For number three, Mr. Ramos works. Okay, what is the answer for number three? Thank you sa lahat ng sumasagot, sa lahat ng cooperation niyo for for answering our activities for this afternoon. Thank you, thank you so much. Abroad, okay, abroad. Um, Samantha Pay, ni Akisha Ariola, ni Mark Gabriel De Leon. Yun, um, ang sagot nila ay abroad. Okay, tingnan natin kung tama ang inyong sagot. Um, hello kay Elena Samantha Galvez watching ERV6 Diego Salam from San Roque Central School, San Roque District, Davao City. Wow, thank you for watching, Elena. Okay, so now let's see if your answer is correct. Okay, the correct answer for number three is abroad. Correct. Okay. So, Yun lang yung about sa recap natin. So, thank you for answering our uh, pretest and recap. So, this afternoon, we will talk about adverb of frequency. Okay. So, hello, Ma'am Jennifer Jean, teacher Jennifer here in Vietnam. Hello, Ma'am. Um, keep safe po dyan sa Vietnam. Thank you for watching. Salamat po. Of course, so let's talk about our lesson for today. Okay, so let's read first the dialogue. So, and please uh, notice the underlined words. Okay, so Paul, hey Roy, I am going shopping. Do you want to come? Okay, Roy, sorry, Kiko is coming. We will do the English homework together. Paul, I see. Well, I never do that homework. Roy, I do it sometimes, but Kiko is very serious. He always does his homework. Okay, so, ang kailangan yung tignan ay yung mga may underlined words. Okay? Paul, okay, but I'm cooking dinner tonight, so you and Kiko should come. You are so nice, always cooking dinner for me. And Paul, well, you sometimes wash the dishes and Kiko almost always does the shopping. So, yun yung mga may underlined words na kailangan natin tignan. And of course, ito pa, may another dialogue pa. So, I know you hate washing the dishes, so you don't do it. Paul, yeah, you will, will you wash the dishes tonight? Roy? <laughs> sure. Okay. So, ano yung na-notice nyo sa ating mga uh, dialogue kanina? Ano yung nakikita nyo? So, we have the never, the always, the sometimes. Yun. So, yun yung mga uh, naka-underlined words natin. So, those are the adverb of frequency. Okay. So, kanina, sa dialogue na binasa natin, ito may, mga, may tatlong tanong. May tatlong tanong. Okay. So, how often does Paul do his homework? So, pakisagutan po si Paul kay Roy and Kiko. Okay. How often does Paul do his homework? So, kanina, balikan natin yung, yung uh, dialogue nila. Okay, how often Paul do his homework? 
Okay, ang sagot dyan ay Anong sagot for uh, How often does Paul do his homework? Never. Okay, sabi ni Megan Olatan, never. Ni Akisha Ariola, never. Okay. Very good. Correct. Ni Maria Corazon de Jesus, never. Okay, kasi makikita natin sa dialogue nila. Sabi ni Paul, I see. Well, I never do that homework. So, yung ginamit niyang adverb of frequency is never. Okay. Number two question. How about kay uh, Roy? Paano yung kay Roy? Okay, balik tayo sa question. How often does Roy do his homework? Okay, ang sagot for nila ay always. So, tignan natin ma- kanina sa ating dialogue kanina. So, ang sagot nila ay always for number two kay Roy. Okay. Sabi ni Roy dito ay I do it sometimes. Okay, makikita niyo dyan sa ilalim, no? Yung kay Roy na dialogue. I do it sometimes. Okay, how about Kiko for number three? Ano yung sagot for Kiko? Always. So, number three, sabi ni Akisha Ariola, always. Ni John Paul Struder, always. Ni May Monticel, always. Shady Hector Potentio, always. Okay. So, tama yun kanina. So, si Kiko, um, kaya ang tanong kasi, how often does Kiko do his homework? So, si Roy kanina nagsabi sa dialogue na he always does his Homework. Makikita nyo dyan sa pinaka dulo ng dialogue. Si, si Roy ang nagsabi. Okay, so he always does his homework. Okay, very good. Correct. So, balik na tayo kanina. Okay, adverbs of frequency. So, express how often we do something. So, we use adverbs of frequency to say how often, yun nga, how often we do something. So, um, adverb of frequency are often used with the present simple because they indicate repeated or routine activities. Okay, so um, yun. Okay, so these are the examples ng adverbs of frequency natin. So we have always, usually, Normally, frequently, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, rarely, and never. So, nagpapakita lang yan ng uh, kung gaano mo sila palaging ginagamit. So, may nakita rin ako no, sa ibang um, uh, source. No? So, ito yung nakikita nyo sa, sa screen natin na yung always. no. So, it means na parang 100% mo siya ginagamit ang always. Pag sinabi mo always, ginagawa mo palagi ang isang bagay. 100%. Okay? So usually, um, sa source na nakita ko din uh, from the internet also sa English na uh, ano rin to, a website. So usually, so mga 90% mo ginagawa and normally, sa 80%, frequently, sa 70%, and sometimes, nasa 50% mo lang siya ginagawa. Occasionally, ang uh, occasionally ay nasa 30% mo lang siya ginagawa. Uh, uh, seldom, 10%, rarely, 5%, and never, 0%. Talagang hindi mo siya ginagawa. So, yun yung mga halimbawa natin ng adverb of frequency. Okay, hello kay Ma'am Grace Gamboa, watching from 
Kepungbo Elementary School. Thank you, uh, Colin Scott. Okay, so pagpatuloy natin. Okay, let's read the sentences. So these are examples. We often meet our cousins in Quezon City. Number two, we seldom complete their work in school. Number three, sometimes the teacher give long assignment. Number four, the doctors visit their patients frequently. And number five, the yen goes to the mall rarely. Okay, so, ano notice naman natin na yung naka uh, bold na mga words are those are the adverb of frequency. No, yung often sa so number one. For number two, seldom. Number three, sometimes. Number four, frequently. And number five, rarely. Pero paano ba natin ito ginagamit? No? Saan ba siya banda ilalagay? Yung adverb of frequency. So, tingnan natin. So, generally speaking, adverbs of frequency come before the main verb. So, tingnan natin yung example kanina. Okay. So, example. So, ang sabi kanina, the adverb of frequency, no, dapat ay uh, bago siya mag uh, main verb. Okay, so sa number ito, we often meet our cousins in Quezon City. So, ang main uh, verb natin ay meet. Okay, so kaya nilagay natin yung often before yung main verb. Or bag, I mean, bago mag-main verb na meet. Okay, and number two, they seldom complete their works in school. So, yung main verb natin ay complete. Okay, so. Yes, uh, okay. And, of course, the adverbs occasionally, sometimes, often, frequently, and usually may also be found at the beginning or end of the sentence. Okay. So, these are the examples. So, let's see kung paano nilagay itong mga adverbs of. Okay. So, ito yung examples. Okay. Sorry, number, nakalagay number one, number, number one lahat. Okay, so sometimes the teachers give long assignments. Okay, so nilagay natin yung adverb of frequency no, sa unahan. Okay, so ang adverb of frequency natin is sometimes. Okay, and of course, sa pangalawang example natin, the doctors visit their patients frequently. Okay, so ilagay naman natin yung adverb of frequency sa dulo. Okay, so tingnan natin yung iba pa. So the adverbs rarely and seldom may be found at the end of a sentence. So tingnan natin yung example ng rarely and seldom. Okay. So ito. Bea eats meat very seldom. So, sa dulo siya nilagay. And, Dayan goes to the mall rarely. Okay, so, seldom and rarely, mostly, no, ay nilalagay natin sa dulo ng sentence. Okay, so next. Okay, let's have an activity, number one. Okay, tingnan natin, no. Alam ko naman na uh, meron na kayong knowledge about sa adverb of frequency. So before we start our activity number one, hello, good afternoon watching from uh, FFGES District 38, SDO Bacolod City, kay Ma'am Cheryl Espartiro. Hello Ma'am, maayong hapon sa inyo dira sa Bacolod City. Okay, so and also kay Briggs Arky Gonzalez watching from Malipampang, San Aldelfonso, Bolacan. Good afternoon and kay Jamila Tarayo watching from Santo Rosario, ESSDO, Aliaga, Annex. Good afternoon po. Okay, yeah, let's have an activity. So, activity number one. So, rewrite 
each sentence using the given adverb of frequency in its correct position. Okay, so Kyla, number one, Kyla listens to classical music. So, ang ating adverb of frequency is often. So, paano mo ilalagay yung adverb of frequency? Okay. Uh, who can answer for number one? Pakicomment lang po ng inyong answer. Kyla listens to classical music. Okay, habang inaantay ko yung mga sagot. Good afternoon, watering from QC, kay John Paul Schroeder, kay Charlene Kentucky Bar, grade 6 Mabini, watering from San Antonio, Angel, Angel, Elementary School, Santa Cruz, Laguna, watering from Batak City Division, kay Julie Espel Fernandez. Good afternoon po. Okay, so number one, sabi ni, ni Daylan Roque, Kyla often listens to classical music. Same with Akisha Ariola. Uh, okay, okay, Briggs, R.T. Gonzalez. So let's see if your answer is correct. Ay, ano pala to? Um, sige. So the correct answer, John, I, Kyla often listens to classical music. So kailangan natin siya ilagay yung uh, adverb of frequency, no, bago mag main verb. Okay, so tama yung mga sagot ninyo. Kyla often listen to classical music. Okay, number two. Fred reads the newspaper. Okay, so our uh, adverb of frequency is sometimes. So paano natin yan ilalagay for number two? Okay, so antayin ko yung mga sagot ninyo for number two. Okay, so good afternoon kay Jan Rydal Madriaga Galupo from Esperanza East Elementary School, Aurora Isabella. Hello, good afternoon sa iyo and thank you for watching. Okay, may sagot na for number two. May sagot na sometimes Fred reads the newspaper. May Fred sometimes reads the newspaper. Meron din na Fred sometimes reads the newspaper. Okay. Fred read the newspaper sometimes. Okay. So let's see uh, kung ano yung tamang sagot. Mamaya meron dyan uh, after this five na, na activity number one, ipapakita ko lahat ng tamang sagot. Okay. So what is the correct answer for number two? So Fred reads the newspaper sometimes. Okay, yun yung tamang sagot for number two. And tama si Daylan Angelo Rocky. Okay, good. For number three, let's see for number three. Ano kaya number three? So, Jasmine jogs at the park every morning. So, our adverb of frequency, I always. Okay, ipapakita ko na rin yung number four and five para at least makapag uh, gawa na kayo ng sagot ninyo. And maka-comment, maka-comment na kayo agad. Okay, for number four, Francine complains about her homework. And number five, Connie and Joy meet at the mall. Pero number, ano muna tayo, number three, sagutan niyo muna yung number three. Sabi ni Gabriel Carabin, Jasmine always jogs at the park every morning. Okay, so ano pa yung ibang sagot? Nag-aantay pa ako. Jasmine always jogs at the park every morning. So, same with uh, Daylan, with uh, Joanna Altea Cruz, ni Ma'am Jo, of course, ni Az Azel Joy Batan. Okay, so the correct answer is Jasmine always jogs at the park every morning. So, halos lahat yung na answer for number three is correct. So, tama yun. Okay, for number four. So, Francine complains about her homework. So, what is the correct answer? So, may, si Gabriel Carabin nagsabi, Francine, Francine never complains about her homework. 
Okay, si Marco Santos, same. Pasla, si Daylan. Francie never complains about her homework. Si Joanna Altea, same. Sila na mga sagot. Ni Megan Olatan. Ni Joanna Altea Cruz. Ni Maria Cristina Belmonte. Okay. Ni Akisha Ariola. So, correct. Tama inyong mga sagot for number four. Francine never complains about her homework. And number five. Connie and Joy meet at the mall. So, ang uh, ating adverb of frequency ay rarely. So, saan kaya natin ilalagay yung adverb of frequency na yan? For number five. Okay. <coughs> Excuse. So, may mga sagot na. Connie and Joy rarely meet at the mall. Merong Connie and Joy meet Yes, same. Meet rarely at the mall. So, tignan natin. Nandito yung tamang sagot for 1 to 5. Okay. So, for number 1, yung kanina sabi ko nga, Kyla often listens to classical music. Number 2, Fred reads the newspaper sometimes. Number three, Jasmine always jogs at the park every morning. Number four, Francine never complains about her homework. And for number five nga kanina, sinasabi natin, ito yung tamang sagot, Connie and Joy meet at the mall rarely. Okay, so tama si Akisha Ariola. Okay, so thank you for answering our activity number one. Okay, and hello, good afternoon to Crystal and Gayamo. Good afternoon from watching from Fernando F. Gonzalez Elementary School, District 3A. Okay, good afternoon. Okay, so let's have an activity number two. So, tingnan natin, ha. Ayun, med pasensya, medyo mahina lang yung uh, si internet, kaya ang tagal mag, uh, maglabas ng screen. Okay. For activity number two, put the words in the correct order to form clear and coherent sentences. Okay, so the first one is done for you. So, ito yung example lang. So, school, do homework, always, my, I, after. So, nakascrambled siya. So, all you have to do is to have a correct sentence, no? So, ang tamang sagot dyan for number one, I always do my homework after school. So, tingnan natin for number two. Okay. Have dinner, sometimes pizza for we. So, what do you think is the correct answer? So, put the words in the correct order para mag-form siya na isang clear and coherent sentence. Okay. Just comment your answer. Hello po kay Joanna Altea Cruz watching from SSDR Bostos District SDO Bulacan. Hello, good afternoon and thank you for watching. Okay, for number one, ah, for number two I mean, ano yung tamang sagot for number two natin for the activity number two? Okay, pakicomment lang ng inyong sagot. Okay, sabi ni... Joanna Altea Cruz, we have pizza for dinner sometimes. Sabi naman ni Megan Louise, sometimes we have pizza for dinner. Okay. But we sometimes have pizza for dinner. We have dinner for pizza sometimes. Sabi naman ni Dayland and Angel Roque, we have pizza for dinner sometimes. So let's see if your answer ay tama ba ang mga sagot ninyo? Tignan natin. Okay, the correct answer is sometimes have pizza for dinner. Okay, or number three, usually they there spend abroad vacation. Okay, so for number two. For number two, what is the correct answer? Sorry, nakamute na lang ako. 
Okay. Uh, for number three, I mean, sorry. Usually, they there spend abroad vacation. So, my next one is for number three, Samantha, si Ma'am Jo. Okay, they usually spend their vacation abroad. Okay. Si Juan Altea Cruz, they usually spend their vacation abroad. Si Daylan, same. Ang sagot. Okay. Si Margox, Santo, same din. Si Joanna, ganon din. So, let's see if your answer are correct. Okay. They usually spend their vacation abroad. So, very good. Tama ang inyong mga sagot. Okay. For number, tinanat ko may number four. Ayun, wala na pala. So, we will have a wrap up about our lesson for today, which is all about the adverb of frequency. So, adverbs of frequency express how often we do something na kung palagi natin ginagawa. So, adverbs of frequency are often used with the present simple because they indicate repeated or routine activities. Okay. So, yun yung mga uh, ano natin. Ito yung mga examples natin no? ng adverbs of frequency. Always, usually, often, sometimes, seldom, rarely, never, occasionally, and frequently. Okay. So, dahil uh, we ha only have three minutes to go. Okay. So, generally speaking, adverbs of frequency come before the main verb. Yung nga sabi ko kanina. And uh, the adverbs occasionally, yung sometimes, often, frequently, and usually, may also be found at the beginning or at the end of the sentence. And the adverbs rarely and seldom naman may be found at the end of the sentence. Okay, so please remember that. So, eto, ano? In this time of pandemic, ito yung ano natin. Okay, in this time of pandemic, how often do you wash your hands? Okay, with the use, of course, of adverb of frequency. So, paano mo yan sasagutan with the use of adverb of frequency? How often do you wash your hands? Okay, pakicomment ng inyong sagot at babasahin ko kung tama. Okay, so um, hello kay Dimple May Gutierrez watching from Rojas West Central School Grade 6 Industry. Good afternoon. Yes, uh, yun, sagot ni Arkisha, I always wash my hands. Okay, correct. So, always. So, yes, I always wash my hands. Pati sabi ni Hazel Joy Batan. Okay, correct. So, let's have the valuing. Okay, how often do you show unity in the family? Okay, so, comment lang na inyong sagot. So, number one, help other members of the family without being asked. So, comment lang kung usually, kung always, often, sometimes, seldom, rarely, or never. Okay, so number one natin, help other members of the family without being asked. Okay, so maraming sumagot. Sina Daylan, Sina Joanna, si Andrea, always. Wow, very good. Okay, si Charlene, si Lawrence, Paul, si Dimple, may Gutierrez. Have a blessed afternoon to tutor. Okay. Afternoon, si Nadela, si Joanna, Altea Cruz, yun, always, si John Paul Struder, always, okay, very good, si Archie, Abina, good afternoon, always, so, very good, so, number two, ignore your baby brother if he is talking, for number two, sabi ni Joanne Altea Cruz, never, no, si Samantha Faye, di also never. Si Gabriel, never. Si Akisha Ariola, never. Si Hazel Joy, but never. Si Dela, never. Okay, correct. So, very good. And number three, start a good conversation to your family. So, for number three, what is your answer? Hello, guys, Shane Ivan PH. No, watching sa YouTube siya. Good afternoon. 
start a good conversation to your family. Okay, ang sabi nila ay always, always, always. So, take it si Joanna, si John Fulcher, si Maria Corazon, si Jesus, si Juan Altea Cruz, si Daylan, and si Ronaldin Bulaay. Always, okay. So, thank you. So, may pati sana tayong posts, but kapos na tayo sa oras, no? So, uh, it's already 1.41. So, sa lahat ng nanood, Uh, sa lahat ng nag-cooperate sa activities natin for this afternoon, maraming maraming salamat. And um, sa susunod, makakasama niyo ulit no? next Tuesday tuwing alauna, uh, tuwing uh, 1 o'clock, 1, 1 p.m. to 1.40. No? Kasama ninyo si Ma'am Jazz sa ating English 6, sa ating online tutorial for English 6. So, thank you for watching. And I hope na makasama ko kayo ulit. And uh, sa lahat ng kakilala nyo din sa na grade 8, no, pakisabi, uh, tuwing Friday, alas 9, uh, tuwing Friday 9.30, tuwing 9.30, uh, TLE 8. Okay, so thank you, thank you for watching, salamat, God bless, and ingat kayo lagi. Goodbye! Sigurado ako na marami ka na namang natutuhan sa ating e tutorial session ngayong araw. Tandaan, ito ay hindi lamang para sa ating mga mag-aaral, kundi pati rin sa ating mga minamahal na guro at mga magulang na kaagapay natin para maituloy ang pagkatuto sa kabila ng nararanasang pandemya. Patuloy ding sumubaybay sa DepEd TV para sa mga araling ginawang video episodes. Mapapanood ito mula lunes hanggang sabado, alas 7 ng umaga hanggang alas 7 ng gabi sa inyong mga telebisyon. Abangan bukas mula alauna ng tanghali ang iba pang aralin sa ating e Life free online tutorial session sa Filipino. I-like and subscribe at manatiling nakasubaybay sa ating e Life tutorial session sa DepEd EdTech Unit FB page at Educational Technology Unit channel sa YouTube at sa DepEd Tayo at DepEd Philippine social media accounts. Paalam!